All right, we are back with the America is not Babylon videos. I want to do number five here, um, this thing of citizens of Rome. Okay, because what you're going to hear from the false prophet lying devils out there, you're going to hear that the Vatican is just this small little city, you know, state over there, and there's really not that many members of the Vatican city state, you know, actual citizens of it and things. You have to be a work for the Vatican and things like that to actually be a have citizenship in the official city over there and there's not that many people that are actual citizens of it uh well that part is true but what they're not telling you is the dual citizenship that a roman catholic and a you know of any you could be a american roman catholic an italian roman catholic a german roman catholic a whatever they have dual citizenship all right when you get baptized into the roman catholic system you are now on their citizenship uh, list and uh, just did a little bit of research here um, in America alone there are 69 and a half million Roman Catholics that's 2015 statistic 69 and a half million Roman Catholics open Roman Catholics okay that's a lot of Roman Catholics here in America when you have 318.9 million American citizens all right so that means that 69 and a half, almost 70 million people here in America have dual citizenship. They're citizens of Rome. Hmm. Um, Lutherans, worldwide, 72 million. You say, what are you bringing Lutherans up for? Well, because the Lutherans openly have joined with Roman Catholicism. <coughs> I think it was back in 1991 or something like that, they signed an agreement uh, that were they reunited with Roman Catholicism. This 99 was it? Okay, 1999. Wife just reminded me. She's former Roman Catholic Lutheran, also known as Lutheric. You get the little humor there. But um, they rejoined with Roman Catholicism years ago. Hmm. And uh, by the way, worldwide, there are. Uh, 900 million Protestants. The Protestant groups have all gone back under the authority of Rome. So we have uh, 1.2 billion Catholics in the world right now. 900 million Protestants. Oh, and uh, how about Islam? The Muslims. Again, understanding the joke there. You know, 1.6 billion. So uh, 1.6 billion 1.2 billion, 900 million Protestants. You're essentially approaching half of the world's population is under the control, open control of the Vatican. But they're not that big of an organization and things like this. You know, no, not big at all. Um, let me see where the uh, verse is here. Uh, Revelation chapter 17 Revelation 17, verse 15. And he saith unto me, The waters which thou sawest where the whore sitteth are peoples and multitudes and nations and tongues. Mm -hmm. She's a great whore that sits on many waters. And see, what you're going to see in Revelation chapter 17, this is really the one that defines who Mystery Babylon is. And in this, you're going to see symbolic interpretations of her. She's a woman. That's symbolic. She sits on many waters. That's symbolic. But then later on, you're going to see that those that symbolism that the Lord gives here is actually defined. It's symbolic, but it's defined literally. And here you're seeing it in verse 15. The waters which thou sawest where the horse sitteth are peoples and multitudes and nations and tongues. And I'll tell you what, you look at these big gatherings of the Vatican and stuff like that, and you look out there and it's just like just thousands, hundreds of thousands of people out there. What's going on? They are the waters upon which the whore sits. And you look at them, you look at the big things, you know, the, the Catholic Youth Day and all this other stuff, they're waving all the different flags of the world. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, if you just read Revelation 17 and 18 and into 19 with an open mind, if you just read it, you can't come away with anything else, but this is the Roman Catholic Church who it's talking about. It's not America.